Hey, thanks for coming back to KG's Garage. Uh, today what I'm working on is we're going to update the brakes on the 76 GMC motorhome. I read this whole front end and now we're up to the brakes. Let me show you what we have here. All right. <clears throat> so we had whole front ends rebuilt, new rotors. Here's the old caliper. The CV boot was leaking, so there's a whole bunch of mess on the um, old hose. It's old rubber hose. I don't know how old it is. There's some gashes in it. <clears throat> um, hopefully, I can get this off here uh, without breaking the brake line. It looks like it's got some surface rust on it, even though it's painted over. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get some PB Blaster and blast these before I try to even get those off. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the all the new stuff, mount all the new stuff here, get the hose ready, routed where it needs to go, you know, up and around over here, and then this way when I go to take this one off, I just disconnect it and connect the new one, be minimal amount of brake fluid loss. I'm going to have to bleed it anyway, but that's why I don't lose any brake fluid. Here's all the new stuff. <clears throat> Here's the new stuff. we got new calipers. They're bigger. I don't remember the size, but I'm gonna probably could put the part numbers in the description. Um, because of new hardware. I painted them red. You're not gonna see them, but I thought that'd be nice. Some, more, some other hardware. The hoses. I have this nut here. So instead of putting this through the bracket and hammering that little fork thing on here, that little clip, take this uh, nut, screw it on there, and sandwich it on the on the clip. And I'll, that's how it's going to stay on there. So that's that. And inside here are the new brake shoes. Oh, I already have these, so I have extras. Oh, some grease. Brand new, bigger. Here's the original brake pads. They were still good. There's still, still some on there, but. Comparison, you can see they're a little bit larger. It's like that much, that much bigger. A little bit different design. Oh, it might be these. A little bit different design. Looks like the holes line up. Not that that matters because it's different caliber. And these old ones had silicone on here. It was very hard to get these off. They put red silicone on the brakes to stop them from squeaking. So that's that. I'm gonna go start. Mounting this stuff up, I need to get some brake cleaner and clean all the um, the surfaces of that rotor. Got some spray paint on there, and I, I'm sure I touched them with, with greasy hands. So I'm gonna clean that. I'm gonna set up the brake caliper with the um, pads. I guess I'll put some of this on the. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see what's on here. Let's see if it's brake quiet. There's another silicone. Maybe spray some disc brake quiet on the back of those things. Get all this set up and then take the old stuff off. Okay, first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna clean the surface. I some paint on the other side. As soon as the brakes, first time I hit the brakes, they'll just come right off. On the uh, box for the brake pads, it shows you all these red areas are areas that where it has to be lubricated. Bottom of the brake pad, other side of the brake pad, the, the uh, sliders. I don't have these rubber things. Anyway, inside here, on the caliper here, which I have to clean off. So I want to make sure there's no paint on there. Since I painted this whole front end, I um, want to make sure I, I take the paint off these two contact points, which I just did. And now I'm taking the paint off of the little spacer deals in here, because these are supposed to slide in and out. And if there's paint on them, it's, they're not going to slide. So I just sprayed some brake clean on them, and the paint is coming off. Okay, this is taking a little bit too long, so I got some denatured alcohol. I'm going to pour it into this cap here. It's just a cap from a spray bottle and I'm going to put these in there. Let's 
sit in there for a little while. Let's put a little more so they're all covered. There we go. Yeah, you can see I didn't really spray paint here. Well, I really got it on here. All right, this paint here is really kicked on. I'm gonna go hit it with the wire wheel. Okay, so they've been soaking in here for a while. I can see the paint coming off. So that's good. I'm gonna take them out and I should be able to take the paint right off. Let's see. Yep, it's coming right off. All right, clean, just like brand new. I'm gonna put it in here. Some white lithium grease, I'm gonna smear around here. Smear around the hole, put it in. There we go. White lithium grease on here, on here. I can't see. White lithium grease on these gears over here. Gotta make sure you don't get any on the rotor. And usually I just take these guys and just stick them in here. Make sure your hands are clean. I'm gonna put the, so you always put the bleeder valve on top. So, and also I'm gonna pull this plug out here. Oh, there's two more washers. Okay, bleeder valve goes on top. It goes like this, so it's gonna go like this. All right, I think I'm putting the squeaker on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some lithium grease on here. The brake pad's gonna slide back and forth on it. This goes here. Snug. That's loose now. Take these bolts, go through. I'm not going to tighten it with this, I'm just going to zip it in a little bit. Both the same part number, so I don't know if it's the right side or left side. It's supposed to be different for each side. So it's got this little ridge on it where it goes on the back of the caliper and it holds it. And then they're different for each side. The ridge would be on the on the other side. Um, he didn't have the other one, whatever side it's supposed to be. So we got two of the same and we ground the ridge off on the on this one. So let me see if this is the driver's side. Nope, this is the other side. So it actually doesn't use that ridge at all. You have this goes in here like that, and the ridge sticks up. There's other brake systems I've seen where it would come down and the ridge would stop it from moving. Like maybe like this this end here would be cut out, and you could take this. It'll go there and it won't be able to twist or something like that. Or it goes like this, and this would go over a spot and it won't be able to move. But these calipers aren't like that, so it doesn't matter. So you need the ridge gone so you can put it down. Now we see what the deal is. So on this one, I gotta figure out which, which one I need. With the ridge or without it. So here's the difference in size between the two different brake calipers. The new one, like two and a half. I don't know, two and three eighths. So it's a little bit bigger. Sure, it looks larger. 
it's definitely taller. It's not that much difference. Is it worth it? Me going through all this trouble right now? I don't think so. I'm having so much trouble with the old lines that I kind of regret going with these larger ones. I should just kept the uh, the stock ones. I would have done already. Um, the brake lines. This brake line I cut it so many times. I just tried flaring it, and that happened. It like mushroomed out. Uh, I bent it so many times. It's all rusted. I can't get it out of the uh, this proportioning valve here. It's rusted in there. I got this this line on. I just wanted to. I was going to take this whole thing out and just make a new line, but I can't get it out. So my other option, I might just do a union. I don't want to do it, but put a union right here and just make a new line from here to here. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because I can't flare this stuff. I don't know if it's very thin wall or what, but it just keeps, it's the second time it did that. And I tested the tool on new line and it works fine. It's the same procedure. So I don't know what's up. I'm going to try to do the other side and give this side a break and come back to it later. Got this brake line to fit here. It's supposed to go like this. It's not going to sit flat because it's hitting over here on the um, axle and the upper ball joint. So what I need to do is bend it out that way. I'll show you what I did on the other side. It was coming straight up. It was coming straight up. I bent, I twisted it that way so it goes away from the uh, bowl joint. Pulled it up and then it goes around. It's bolted there. And then right here, there. Original bracket goes in there and then with that nut on the other side to hold it. The brake line has like a hex pattern on it or whatever and that fits into that bracket. The bracket has a cutout in it also and this will fit in there and it'll lock in. So when you put this nut on the other side it will uh, hold it there. So what I need to do is I also had to break off this this tab. This tab has to be come off so we can go back into the factory location. So I have to figure out which way I have to bend this, and all I did was, I'll show you, I just put it in a vise and just bend it, and guess where it needs to go. So I'll, let me figure out how, what, where I have to bend it, and I'll show you on the bench. All right, so it's sitting on the caliper like this. Open this up. So sitting on the caliper like that. So it needs to go this way, so I'm just going to Put a little bit of pressure on here, and then up. I don't know if that's enough. Let me just go a little bit more. Okay. Now I need to pull it up. Pull it up a little bit. I'm just bending right here, pushing up. Okay. It, it moved. Believe me, it moved. All right. Let's go see if it fits. You can see. Uh, it sits on there flat now. It will sit on there flat now. Here we go. You can see it sits on there flush now. Um, you can see this nub here. That's why we didn't... This nub doesn't interfere. That's why we just leave it on this side. So like that. And it's kind of close. But once I put the nut on here, I'll be able to fine-tune this, get it a little bit... bend it a little bit more. So let me not put the bolt in there and I can fix it a little bit. You got the same brake lines that I did, which are, they're both the same brake line. This bracket here is gonna be wrong. So this end goes here and to the brake line. And then here's your bracket. Bracket will not, it's supposed to go right there. It will not fit in there like this. This hits the control arm. The um, so it won't fit there like this. This hits the control arm, and it makes a big loop. On the other side, it's like this. So what I'm gonna do is 
I already started to, I, I, I took the line off again. I'm going to um, bring it to the shop, open this up, flip it around, squeeze it back on. So this, this part will be facing up like this, but you'll have the end right here that's going to the brake line, the hard line, on the left side of it, not on the right side. If it's on the right side, it doesn't work, because you, you have to mount it like this and it won't fit there. So let me go take it in a shop. Oh, and I also broke this nub that was here. I just took a, the pliers and just moved it back and forth till the metal broke. Okay, I got this off. Um, it was more of a pain than I thought it would be. Uh, it was easy to get it off. I pried it here with a screwdriver, and then I pried it there with a screwdriver, and then got some pliers, grabbed it here and just twisted it, and just pulled it right down. Got the got it off. Putting it back on to make it some somewhat round again, that was a challenge. So I crunched it, and I actually wound up hammering it back into place so we get a little bit more round and a little bit uh, crushed on here. So now it's on here. It will go like this, like that, against the frame in that hole, and this end will go where it needs to go. Okay, when I was doing the brakes, I couldn't get the line out from here. It actually broke off. So I was messing with it, trying to flare it a bunch of times. And now the, even if I do flare it, it's not going to reach. It's, it's going to be too short. I tried to take the this end off out of this proportioning valve. And it's stuck in there. All I'm doing is stripping out the, the nut there. I was just going to rebuild this whole line. So now the new plan is I'm going to cut it somewhere up here, clean all this, put a nut, flare it, and I'm gonna put the uh, put a little coupler, and then run new line from here to the rubber brake line to the frame. And I picked this up. This is a little handheld flare tool. Line goes in there. And you use this to screw it in and make the flare. So th this is this is made to be used on the vehicle. So I can do it right here. So that's going to be convenient. The other line I'll just make on the bench. I can just do it on the bench on the inside. But let me uh, I'm gonna cut it, clean it, somewhere where it's straight, nut, and then flare it. I cut this line, cleaned it up a little bit, put the nut on it. Make sure you put the nut on there. Now I got this tool. You loosen these guys up here. Loosen these up. This tool's <clears throat> this tool's made by Titan. If you can see that, it's a 51535. It's a just a brake line tool. All right. Um, I think you put this guy in. Let me see here. Yeah. Let's put this in here. It's a 17. Just snug it. Now I'm going to take the line, put it through this hole until it hits there, and then tighten these down. Now we'll get it to the proper depth. All right, and this. All right. You take this one out. This pump. This is the stopper. They give you a little thing of uh, grease. So on here is OP1. Okay. Well, Operation One is this guy. So dab some grease on there. So OP1 goes here, this on there, and I'm just going to tighten it till it bottoms out right about. All right, take it off, dip down the grease again. So now this is the Second, to double flare it, and tighten it. All right, all right. This out. Loosen these up here. Loosen this guy up. So you gotta take it all the way up, almost all the way apart now. Okay. Let's see what. Let's see what we got. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Rusty piece of a uh, line there. 
So hopefully this can come back down. There. You know what? I'm going to take some grease and put it here. Now I can take a union, screw it on here. Alright, that's tight. Now this, let's go like this, bend it something like this. Now we got to get another line. We need another line to go from here, a new piece here, right over to here. I went inside and I used a different tool to make these uh, flares. My bench, bench top one. I put this one on off of here so it would be a little bit easier. I'm just supposed to snug it. Flare hits. Alright. Now, bend this to here. I don't want to make this bend right here too too sharp. Got everything wrapped up here. Got everything greased. All the grease fittings greased. Sway bar bushings on. Uh, blood the brakes. I made the little union right there. It's not leaking right now. I would like to replace the whole line, but I can't. Like I said, I can't get that off right there. So this union is working for now, it's not leaking. I bled the brakes, so there's pressure inside the lines. And the brake's dragging now, so I know they're uh I know the calipers um, came out. I made the caliper right, I guess you can see it a little bit in there. I need to, I put, obviously I just put four lugs on here just for now. I'm going to take it off the jack stands, lower it down. The wheels are chalked back there. And the last thing I have to do is get this nut, get it tight to whatever it's supposed to be. Over 100 foot pounds. But I'll show you that. I have, I bought some other stuff to get the, I bought a three quarter inch drive and an inch and whatever it is socket, inch and a half socket. So I'll be able to uh, torque it down the correct way. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these jack stands out. Got the jack there, I'm gonna put it underneath the middle, lift it up. Pull jack stands out. height I don't remember the back is definitely low it, air came out of the airbags I don't know I gotta measure it I should have measured it before I just started taking it apart it's kind of too late but I can look online and see what the measurement is supposed to be I want to get the back to ride height I might bring the front down then I can mess with the torsion bars but let's get that nut tightened so this is supposed to be torqued to 120 this is not um, what I have here is <clears throat> here's a socket inch and a half, three quarter inch drive. I have a torque, I don't know what you call it here, torque, torque cube, torque tool here, um, digital. Uh, but it's half inch drive. So I have two adapters. I got three quarter to half, half to three quarter, and I have the three quarter breaker bar on here. So that's good to 120. I figure I'm gonna go a little bit more because I'm losing some torque in these adapters. Hopefully the adapter doesn't break with, with all this stuff. Let's see. 120. So let me go to 120. Let me go to one. Let me go 150. Okay. It should beep. Oh, look at that. So that's 150. Cool. Let's see if I can do a little bit more. All right. I can get the carpet. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hey, well, that's it. That's going to wrap up the front brake upgrade. If you 
want to get any of the same parts that I that I use, I'm going to put the links in the description below um, where you can purchase them. Uh, and you'll have the, the caliper, the brake pads, the hose. Pretty much that's, that, that's really it um, for the stock setup. If you have any questions or anything like that, put them down in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And if you want to see more of this, uh, me working on this thing, go ahead and, and subscribe. Uh, the next video I'm doing on here is going to be the steering shaft. I had, had that rebuilt and I need to put that in. Kind of a pain to put in, but it, I got it in there. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Put a comment down below or and like it. What is it? Beef one.